Honestly, I'm not gonna give it. Just make sure there's no feds. Oh! What? It took me! No, no, no. Let's go! Come on! What the. Uh, what the? Why is that noise? What is that noise? It's like shaking so fast. Hit it! <laughs> so I didn't get a chance to drive the Audi S4 properly in the previous video because we took it to Jackfest and drag strip. But now it's time to understand what this car's like and take it for a POV drive. And obviously you guys know it's an S4, which means it's got a 4.2 V8 under the hood and not a 1.9 TDI. I think it's time that we trial a lot of people today. Let's see if people can keep up with this car. And today we're going to prove and find out why this car didn't get the credit it deserved back when it first made in 2004. This car brand new was over 40,000 pound. It can't just drive like a Nissan Micra, can it? Let's find out. Right, let's go for a POV drive. Oh boy, does it feel good to drive this. <laughs> first, second gear pull, 344 brake horsepower, naturally aspirated in a 2.2 ton Quattro Audi S4. Let's go. <laughs> Boat speed limit just like that. That was a lot faster than I expected. Oh, I'm going a bit too quick to the roundabout. <laughs> just feels so luxury and strong mechanically, like well engineered. The V8 naturally aspirated. This does something else. We need to go on third gear. Put foot down. Whoa. Whoa. I'm excited, I'm nervous, getting a thrill all at the same time. I'm just embracing the car right now. Let's catch up to him. I can actually test this car now. Oh, that's okay. Don't think he wants to smoke. Very interesting ground to the car, doesn't it? It's not like crazy like crazy loud <laughs> from the back of the car this car got cruise control nah, yeah, so we, we. one thing i'd like to mention to you guys right this is 2004 audi s4 the spec that we had the 3.2 v6 had heated seats cruise control bowl sound system but with this there's no air conditioning there's no heated seats there's no cruise control me personally i would like that in a car like this in terms of a, a sports car i think it ticks the boxes because it obviously gets rid of the weight of the ac and the weight of the heated seats but it's actually quite raw let's face it in a, in a v8 manual you're just gonna put your foot down so this could work that's probably <laughs> that's probably all you get <laughs> the only like executive feel that you get in this car is obviously the armrest and this one here and obviously the recargo seats but they don't feel like super comfortable they're quite firm aren't they we'll just do like a little pull we won't go crazy <laughs> to get used to the car i'll be honest with you i, I did mess up but we're all human come on i'm trying to get used to it before we take it on the track now don't get me wrong the skyline is one of a kind as well but you can't compare them both although this is running 344 brake horsepower get 0 to 60 you're getting there in a nice comfortable but with a raw v8 effortless this car is just, just this much throttle Whoa. Okay, first little test run of the V8. We're up against a brand new 2024 car. I'm not gonna fully give it. Honestly, I'm not gonna give it. Just make sure there's no feds. Oh. What, it took me? <laughs> what the hell was that? That bubble took me? No way, yo. No. I got took. Oh, Volvo took me! We've got to do a check! No! Whatever's in that big family Volvo is incredible! It's electric, that's why! Now this car is not happy, you know! I got done, I got, I'll happily say it. That car, I expected, you know what, we're gonna do it. I even said it before the race, I'll go, 
2024 car, yeah. Let's see, we're up against that. And boom, it, it turned into a race. Zero to 60 in 5.9 seconds. Although we didn't launch it, but that's not the point. Right, we're doing a bit of digging, right? There's a Volvo XC40 electric something charge, right? It, it, we've done a bit of research. It's, it was actually 400 brake horsepower. Do a third gear pull then. That's enough. <laughs> wow, this car pulls through the gear. Look at that classic. Let's catch up to it. What, what's in that? Hey? Is it an Alfa Romeo? Yeah, yeah. That's very fast, that is. We've done, we've done a bit on it. It's very quick. Is it NA? It's a great car. Ooh. That is fast! It's getting there. What, what it, what's it running in terms of BHP? It's just about 160 horse at the wheels. And um, what does it weigh? It's about 890 kilos. That is quick. Turned out when I get in it, mine. <laughs> two years in the making, this was. Wow. You get about 230 out of these if you pay the money like. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Basically, we put 30 pounds in from zero. And there's only 35 miles left. Just say that drive today, basically it cost us 30 pounds so i'm not gonna say they're brilliant when you're given it of course they're gonna drink but we will find out how good they are in a motorway but from my experience from this today i think it's not too bad if you drive normally i think you'd get i'd say the best you can get is 20 miles per gallon 20 25 20 which is pretty decent and an eight cylinder Oh, I love this car. I don't think I want to sell it now. Estates and Avants are too big for the roads, but the turns are pretty good. You know, one remarkable thing about this car that I realized, in like some cars, you've got to be in certain gears to drive. With the Audi S4 being a V8, you can drive in any gear. It's no exaggeration. Two miles power, fifth gear. It's still knocking me back. Foot down. I'm not even like making this up. I'm gonna make this. Boom. Look at that. <laughs> it's the car is agile, it's so big, but it's agile at the same time. It doesn't make any sense. 344 horses, all four wheels. That's what gives this car the edge. That race sport feeling, you know, that's why it's an S4 for a reason. I want that V8 to be roaring as loud as possible <laughs> with a nice raspy sound. This is a bit too deep for me. Second gear, right? Look at this. To that the revs, boom! That and I've gone. <laughs> That's it. Done. Speechless. If this car needs to move, it will move like a bullet. But don't get me wrong. Compared to a turbo car, revs up, revs up. The turbo spills up, and you get there. This. Boom. The power is right there when you need it. Boom. The car squats and it goes. Foot down. All four wheels. Boom. My gosh. <laughs> I love this car, it's just so fun to drive. When I'm in the Civics, no, don't get me wrong, like, it's a cool young kid's driver's car, but this this is a this is a man's car. This is this is called like the daddy's car. It's a completely different league. And I believe that this will be a Civic uh, or any light car. What's gonna point to dead gear? I don't wanna get the windows too open. I just wanna get that sound for you guys, but look at that. Yeah, right guys, ready? <laughs> Whoa! Boom! <laughs> Check this out, the brakes, right? Watch them calipers do his job. Uh, brake! Woof! <sighs> and it's a, it's a car that weighs over two tons. It makes the car feel light because of how powerful and agile this car is. Honestly, this car surprises me in every way. 
Oh, don't worry guys, thank you. Whoa, Whoa it's slow down. <laughs> Come on guys, man, this car is nippy. This engine is the same engine in the Audi R8. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's the 4.2 V8. Performs really well. Let's go, come on! What the jeez? Gosh, um, what the, why is that noise? Why is it, why is it vibrating so loud? What? Guys, I think, just called it a problem right now. I've been serious, you know. What's that noise? It's that vibrating so loud. The whole like steering is shaking like crazy. What is finally we could go actually park up somewhere because this is not good. Just about getting into like Kind of drop it down in gear. Okay, this is not good. This is what is that noise? I want to be very quick, but this is not good. What is that noise? What is wrong? It's like shaking so bad. This is not good. This is guys. Guys, obviously we're in the highway right now, so I don't want to stay here long. But I think we've just broke the Audi A4. This is not good news right now. Yeah, man. I don't know whether it could be the gearbox. Can't be a clutch because like I'm still driving. I can still drive. I can still like just about change gears. But it sounds like the gearbox. I mean, I've done some tests on the car, and the car basically still drives. So what we'll do is we're gonna we're gonna make our way home, drive it slowly. But like, it's, see that noise? Like it's so loud. Like everything is like as loud as anything. Everything's like shaking. And then if I I can still change gear, I can put it to like neutral and it's like it's a bit hard like I could just about get there, forget like just about get into that gear. So now what we're gonna do is basically just attempt to like go back home or find a safe spot and get it back to the HQ. I'm just taking it nice and slow but that noise is vibrating like crazy. It could be the gearbox. It's definitely not the clutch because we can still drive. Just everything is just shaking like crazy right now. So we headed back to the HQ and you will see we were driving extremely carefully. But it was weird as we were able to change gears and accelerating with no issues or no hesitation. But the car sounded very deep and everything was shaking as if something was bubbling inside. It could even be a misfire. But at the moment, we just aim to head back to the HQ. And on the next day, we started diagnosing it further. Yeah, I feel like it's firing. You don't think it's nothing to do with the flywheel? I'm going to feel this. Yeah. Feel the vibration. Uh, it's yeah, not supposed that to vibrate. definitely feels like it's in, inside the gearbox. <laughs> I'll go in first, pull back. Second. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Changed ever since the sound did. Honestly, it's not supposed to sound like that. Can you feel it in the clutch pedal when you press it in? Yeah, it's like something from Berlin, yeah. At this moment in time, we don't know why it is, but hopefully it's not an expensive fix. So I guess the next video, we will be trying to fix the issue instead of a modification. As always, hit that subscribe button if you're new, click the bell notification so you don't miss the next video, and smash that like button. May the Almighty bless each and every one of you. Peace. Dum, dum.